start off because we're already halfway through the year, which is crazy for my so fast. So I just want to start with like a mid-year check-in. See, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm mommying on the go. I have two yeah. little uh, under the weather kids right now. I'm like, y'all gonna be sick at the same time right now? But that's what happens. One gets sick, is the other, whatever the cold is. And here we are in the doctor's office, the pediatrician's office. So other than that, <laughs> <laughs> okay all right well that's very mommy thing it happens it happens yes um so do you want to get into this show because you do have a new show coming out i'm very excited yes. for it leave it to Thank latoya you. so i mean i already know what it's about i've already watched one episode but can you let everyone know what it's going to be about and where they can watch it oh my gosh so the kid network you catch it on my youtube page of course i'll be on my social media outlets you know telling everybody where to go see it. You can catch the link here, all of that. And I love it because it opens up conversations. Um, and that's why I chose the topics that I chose and will allow people to comment so that it can be an interactive experience. And we can have these conversations, these much needed conversations on like mommy guilt, on having conversations with the ex, on healing, on growth, on the way we spend our money, on our love life, all of those different things. And I feel like I'm just being transparent. Um, and open uh, because I want people to know that there's a woman out here, a single mom of two, that is probably going through the exact same things that you're going through. Um, and so that's what I'm talking about on the show, like real life experience. Now you are very transparent. And you even say in the trailer, like, I can't believe I'm really out here sharing my business. So <laughs> uh, was there anything that you can share and put out there that you're like, I really let these people in on my life. <laughs> Oh my God. I think the main one, I don't know which episode you saw, but I did a conversation with my ex who mm -hmm. I was with for over a decade. And, you know, when you're in something and that love is all there and the emotions are crazy, like you probably can't have the healthiest conversation that you need to have and get out all that you want without screaming at each other and going crazy. So I think that that was probably the conversation that I was like, Am I ready to have this? Two, do I need to have it? But three, this was a chapter in my life that was closed, but not closed. So maybe this is the closure that we need. Um, and it's just blossomed into a really cool friendship. Like we see each other and it's all love. You know what I mean? And I want people to know, hey, you can be cool with your ex. It don't mean y'all got to be sleeping together. It doesn't mean that y'all have to be, you know, trying to get back together. It just means, hey, that there's a person that you share a deep love and connection with that's still out here. And the way times are right now, like we should be checking on our friends. We should be checking on the, our loved ones and it's okay. So this is just a check-in with him. I actually watched the episode and I really, I'm so glad you mentioned it because I was so sad that I couldn't actually be interactive and get into it. You were acting like, have you ever wanted to have a conversation with your ex? And I'm like, yes. Yes, I want to. Um, so I don't want to share which ex you brought in yet. I want I want people to be surprised. Yeah. But I will say I watched that full episode, and I know you said you can still be friends with your ex, but there was still a lot of chemistry there. So I want oh, to, yes. to go back with an ex because I was just like, I I know you guys are saying friends, but this looks like I mean you mentioned it that possible soulmate, and that's what I was getting. So would you go back to an ex? Um, ooh, ooh, <laughs> ooh, it would take therapy. Um, <laughs> you know, it, it, I think the time has definitely, between us, we were together so long ago that, um, you know, there's been so much growth and healing in that time. And we're, like he even said, he was like, she got a whole family. She's a totally different person now. Like, there's a lot of, of self-reflecting that has happened in this time. Um, I don't know, we'll see what, you know, we both feel like we both grown. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm wanting to heal from my past experience with, you know, going through a divorce. That's not easy. Um, I don't want to just jump into a relationship, even if it is familiar. Right. Um, but I, you know, when that friendship and that foundation has already been established, is it easier? Yes. But if it's toxic, no. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need toxic in 2022. No, we're not toxic. We, we can recognize it now. We see the red flags. 
Um, mm -hmm. but I know we were too talking about, you know, possibly rekindling relationships. You're going through your divorce, but I still also want to know, are you- Oh no, I'm through it, baby. We don't put, mm, we are through that divorce. I have been divorced a whole year plus. So yeah, okay. put that out. Well, are you, are you feeling healed? Like I know you're actually divorced, but it's a process. It's, it's, it's oh, yeah. Crazy. It is, here's the thing about divorce, regardless of um, why you divorce or if you felt it was the right or wrong thing to do for you, it is one of the toughest things that you will ever go through, even like, and even worse with kids. Mm -hmm. You know, this is changing not just yours, but theirs. So I would advise anybody who is considering it or in a marriage and like, I just want this to be over and you having a moment, baby, do everything you can. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Really think it through right. before you take that leap because it will change everybody life everybody's involved and 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 you know if you're on the other side and the person is considering divorcing you try and make all the changes that need to be made do the counseling do the therapy show up you know what i mean like be that because you don't want this you it's not it's not the it's just not easy yeah. for anyone involved you know what i mean um yeah that's why yeah. i also liked how um, vulnerable you are with the show because a lot of times, like you were saying, we have seen you since you were a child. People are, your fans are growing up with you, feeling like they know everything about you. And so also kind of feeling like celebrities or public figures don't really go through the same thing as a regular humans go through. And you make it very, very real because it is real, it's your life. Um, but I did want to ask, were there any misconceptions about you? People who just feel like, they know Latoya because we've seen you, but you're like, that's not me at all. A couple of things. As an actress, I go through like some of the char character com comparisons, if you will, like playing a mean character. They think, oh, she's mean. She's, like, she's not approachable. I'm scared. It's like, I, child, I'm your cousin. I'm everybody's cousin. Um, <laughs> and I think that that's probably the biggest misconception about me that I hear is like, she's, you know, play these roles where she's vicious and not a people person. And I'm like, I'm the biggest people person. <laughs> even when I'm tired, even if I'm, and you know what I mean? I'm going through it. I, I try and acknowledge everybody, you know, in my perfect no, but I really, I feel so much love when somebody walks up and they're like, yo, you know, I, I'll be wanting to sit there and have a whole conversation with them. <laughs> it doesn't happen like that all the time, but I, I really want people to know that I'm, I'm a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you played those roles so good. So it's also like, well, pat on the back to you because you Thank both, you. it's real. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm definitely as real as it gets. And um, I've, uh, relatable and, and I'm definitely approachable. Just not if it's creepy. If it's right. Creepy, then keep your, let's six feet, let's uh, social distance. <laughs> That's such a good excuse. Six feet, please. Six feet. It's six feet. It's six feet. You know what I mean? Oh, the signs are gone now. Duh. Uh, but yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I have to ask because you said you are letting us in on your world. And as I've said, people have been growing up with you. They know you. A lot of people started knowing you from Destiny's Child. So will this be something you address in the show? Or that's your past. You loved it, but you moved on. It's definitely something I'll address because it's a question that I get asked often. Um, there might be some surprises. We never know, but we'll just, you know, I mean, you yeah, know. <laughs> Can I ask, will there ever be a reunion? Because I've been waiting for that all my life. You know what? It would be a wonderful thing for me, um, all of us. Uh, I think there's been so much time. Everybody is out here adulting. We all parents. Um, it would be beautiful to no, no, no again, one more time, or Ooh, it would say be. my name one more time. You know what I mean? It would be, it would be something that I would, honestly, my heart might melt in that moment. I might, might, I might not make it through. I might <laughs> shed heavy crocodile thick tears. Yes. Just, you know, when the lights, you know, with the, with the, the, the beat drop, I might, what? And look to my left and my right. I, child, you might have to carry me off stage, something like that happened, I don't know. 
I it, it would break. <laughs> it would break. I mean, uh, people have been waiting for that. So, but like you guys, you were saying, you guys are all adults now. You guys are mommies. So let's get into like juggling all that motherhood, uh, this active career, social media, because that's another part of the career. How are you handling this all? Child, no. Okay, <laughs> I'm still trying to figure it out. All right, but, you know, the, the, it's one day at a time, one moment at a time, one, one. I'm gonna throw my Lego at her head at a time. One, mommy, I got a runny nose at a time. One. How do we figure this, doing this Zoom call and making sure, you know, I'm, everybody fed and nap time is like, what? I, I, I don't know how you do it. I'm trying. I don't get it. I'm trying. Okay. It's, 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 um, everybody's still alive. So I guess we're doing good. Um, but it's, it's a struggle. It's a struggle, but at the same time, it is the most beautiful thing I've ever experienced in my life. I love being all over my place, all over the place for my kids. You know what I'm saying? I love this juggle, this juggle struggle. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but I feel like, you know, the more that you're, you're organized, the more, um, and of course, the prioritizing, all of that comes into play. But making sure, and I'll say I'm prioritizing, the, the more time you get for your self-care and the more you're aligned, the easier all of that other stuff will fall into place. If mommy is in tune and if mommy is, is good mentally, then I can think with a clear mind. You know what I mean? It's almost like I'm able to be the octopus that I need to be to get things. <laughs> yes. You know what I mean? It can't, I, I just imagine an octopus who just is sitting there unbothered in the eyes, just <laughs> casually going on, but the arms are working. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's what has to happen. So as long as you are grounded, as long as, you know, you find time for some meditation, some prayer to go and pamper yourself, you know, I think that that's when I found I'm at my best for everyone. I agree. Meditation is everything. I've I found that and I'm so grateful. Come oh, on. Just yeah. sit in there. People think you gotta be all deep and light your candles and get a straw mat. And it's like, wait, you know, just like a moment to sit. Get, okay, just go yes. sit on the ground somewhere in the middle. Breathe. Sit in the flow. Breathe. 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 Yes. You can breathe in the shower, child. Yes. You can breathe. I remember I was having a conversation with someone and they cut me off. Right after I said hello and how are you doing, I was about to ask her a question and she said, stop, before you do, I want you to breathe. Mm. She said, you're not breathing, I can hear it. And I was like, I am, I'm still alive, I am breathing. <laughs> yeah. But the difference it made once I took that breath and started the conversation and I was calling with something that probably would have given anxiety to both of us, like it relieved that, you know what I mean? So breathing is important, meditating is, meditating is important. I walk around, I walk around playing file music all day on my phone. <laughs> okay. That's like one of my biggest secrets. Like when you're talking to me, you got to talk over the spa music because that's the only reason I'm keeping my zen. I, like I do. I did it with both my kids. I would either walk around playing like orchestra music mm -hmm. or I would play like, you know, symphony sounds and stuff like yeah. that. Or I would play um, some Sade, of course, and Maxwell. Um, but I would play spa music all day to keep my, my, my nerves on shield. I'm going to try that. I like that. Try it. it changes your day. <laughs> okay. Well, I can talk to you all day. You are so easy to talk to. I feel like it's a friend. I'm catching up. Um, but y'all, I'm going to let you go. I know you have a busy day. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. Well, you have an amazing day. You too. And congrats <laughs> on the show. Congrats. Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>